Hi everyone, this is Seth Miller, the Executive Director of the Innocence Project of Florida, and this is the November installment of my video blog. So first, there's a new movie coming out. We talked about it last month. It's called Conviction. It features Hilary Swank and Sam Rockwell, uh, Minnie Driver, and Peter Gallagher. And it's the true story of Betty Ann Waters' 18-year struggle to free her brother Kenny from wrongful incarceration in Massachusetts. It's a wonderful, wonderful film, and um, I had the pleasure, as, as did many people on the staff here, to hold two pre-screening or two pre-release screening receptions, one in Miami and one in Orlando, Florida, uh, before the movie came out, um, to allow our supporters to come and get together, and then go see the movie um, uh, at a special feature. It was a wonderful opportunity, and we got to uh, see it in each location, each with an exoneree, um, Orlando Boquete in Miami, Florida, and Bill Dillon in um, Orlando, Florida. And this is sort of a very surreal experience for me. I got to see it with Bill, and when he walked out of the movie, they asked him, what did you think? And he said, it's true to life. And of course, it's a true story, but it's really true to his life. Uh, Kenny Waters' story has so many features, uh, so many of the same features that Bill has in, in his case, and uh, it was a very surreal moment for, for me and the other people who worked on this case to see the movie with him and his family and see how they reacted to seeing this other person who was wrongfully incarcerated and the struggles that their family went through um, uh, in the 18 years that Kenny Waters was wrongfully convicted. It's a wonderful film. Um, this month in Tallahassee, on November 4th, uh, we're having another reception uh, and taking uh, many of our supporters out to see the movie as well. So I recommend that you go check out your local listings, um, see where conviction is playing in your area, and don't miss it. It will only be in the theaters for a short period of time. Now, the Innocence Commission, which was uh, created by uh, Chief Justice Kennedy on the Florida Supreme Court, is going to have their second meeting on November 22nd in Tampa, Florida at the FDLE, uh, that's the Florida Department of Law, uh, Law Enforcement Headquarters. Um, at this installment of the commission, the 23 members will be getting together um, to hear testimony regarding the problem of witness misidentification. Now, witness misidentification has been responsible for over 80% of the wrongful convictions where DNA testing has later um, exonerated those folks. Um, it's the leading cause of wrongful convictions in America and it's some of the most unreliable evidence that's brought into court um, to convict people, yet it is used in so many cases as the bedrock of, uh, criminal, of evidence in criminal prosecutions. Um, the Commission is going to hear from wonderful experts who have studied this issue for um, decades and have, la have studied the problems with it and um, have come up with really good uh, proposals to fix some of those problems to make the identification procedures used in Florida um, far more reliable and therefore hopefully diminish the number of misidentifications and in turn the number of wrongful convictions. The Innocence Project of Florida has been working with the Commission um, for uh, several months now to help um, get them all the right information, help them um, uh, get to some of these experts and we're also providing them uh, with uh, the results of a study that we did um, among law enforcement agencies in Florida. We um, did public records requests to every law enforcement agency in Florida and asked them to provide us with their written policies on how they perform witness identification procedures including show-ups and lineups and photo arrays so we could understand more about what they're doing. And uh, we'll be able to uh, present to the Commission um, this report and it's going to show that um, very, very, very few of Florida's law enforcement agencies, and that's police departments and sheriffs, even have a written policy on how to do these lineups procedures, which of course is a problem. So we're hoping that the commission will view this information and make it clear to law enforcement agencies that we need to have written policies and policies that are in place that implement the type of reliable procedures that produce um, reliable identifications that take the suggestiveness um, out of witness, mis witness identification procedures. Now at the Innocence Project of Florida, we're always working on tons of cases all over the state of Florida. Um, we are litigating in many jurisdictions, both in um, the circuit courts, which are the trial courts, as well as in all five of the appellate courts in Florida, in the Florida Supreme Court, and even the United States Supreme Court. Um, our work is ongoing, um, it continues, and we're very, very busy. And as we uh, get closer, uh, as we did with Derek Williams a few months ago, um, to cases 
where uh, we're about to get somebody out of prison or we have really good DNA test results, we will be sure to let you know about those successes so you can share in them with us. Um, as we come up on the holidays, we'd like to wish all our veterans a happy Veterans Day this month. Um, thank you for serving our country. And uh, for all of you, um, we'd like to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and uh, hopefully you have a happy and healthy holiday season. Um, for, if you would like to learn more about the Innocence Project of Florida, you can visit our website at www.floridainnocence.org where you can learn more about what's going on with our project as well as visit our blog, Plain Error, for an ongoing discussion um, about criminal justice issues and about wrongful convictions and wrongful incarceration more specifically. So hopefully we'll see you next month. Thanks a lot.